Hi guys, it's Kapako. In this video, I'll be talking about how to use Live2D to animate your VTuber model. In the last two videos, I went over how to draw and cut up your VTuber model. You'll want to have your Photoshop file ready for Live2D import, so if you aren't sure, check that everything is formatted correctly in this video. Live2D might seem daunting at first, but so is learning how to use Photoshop or whatever drawing program it is you use. What I'm trying to say is, Live2D is simple once you understand the basics and the tools. Let's get started! Firstly, open up Live2D and import your Photoshop file by dragging and dropping. And select the highest resolution to view your model in. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the layout of Live2D. Parts show all the parts of your model, which are also called textures and how they're layered from front to back. The former is where you'll be working most of the time. It shows the deformer hierarchy and where you'll create deformers that bend your model to create movement. Inspector is where you control the clipping ID, opacity, and blend mode of your textures. Parameter is also where you'll be working most of the time. It has the parameters that your face tracking program will use. And here you set the keyframes that animate your model. Canvas shows your model, and this is where you interact with the deformers. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and press the space bar and click to pan around. Secondly, select everything in the deformer window and generate a mesh. Select the standard preset and close the window. Next, create a texture atlas. Set the width and height dimensions to match your Photoshop document. The maximum will be 2048 by 2048 pixels for the free version of Live2D. Set the margin to 30 pixels and select Automatic Layout. Click on any one texture and check that the scale is 100%. If it isn't, the image will look pixelated. Click OK. And now, save your live 2D progress. Thirdly, sort parameters into folders so that it is neater to work with. Create seven folders for the face, eye, eyeball, brow, mouth, body, and move. Drag the parameters into the corresponding folders. You can add more parameters for additional animations. Click on the New Parameter button and give it a unique name, then click OK. Examples of additional parameters are arms, legs, ears, wings, or tails. Keyforms are poses that you set as the maximum, and Live2D will animate the range of motions between these maximums. You can also set keyforms in between for specific transition points. Select the deformer and use the first two buttons to create keyforms, or the fourth button to place a specific keyform. Next, let's start looking at deformers. You can think of deformers kind of like folders. A deformer will bend all the things inside it. This includes textures and other deformers. There are three main types of deformers. The most common is the warp deformer. Select the textures you want to group together and create a warp deformer. This deformer controls all the textures selected. To animate movement, select a keyform on the parameter and move the green controls around to move, stretch, and squish parts of the textures. Warp deformers are useful for X, Y, Z parameters. The second is the rotation deformer. Select the textures you want to control and create a rotation deformer. To place the rotation deformer precisely, you can move the center of rotation and tail by pressing the control key and clicking it. To animate movement, select the keyform on the parameter and move the center and tail without holding control to move and rotate the textures. Rotation deformers are useful for joints and sometimes Z parameters. The third is the deform path. Select one texture and place the dots in a line along the length of the texture. To animate movement, select the keyform on the parameter 
and move the dots to deform the texture. Deformed paths are useful for eyes, mouth, and hair. Make sure you have a green keyform selected when moving deformers, or you'll just be editing your default model. It's better to have more deformers than too few. If the object moves in XYZ parameters, make sure one deformer for each parameter, or make at least three deformers. Note that one parameter can control multiple deformers. This is my template for deformer hierarchy, which is on the screen right now. This is the simplified version of what my model uses. The general layout is the same for everyone, but the specific part deformers will depend on how you separated your parts and how many moving parts your model has. Next, let's go over parameters and where to begin. I like to rig the broad parameters first before moving on to the more detailed parameters. The order I took when rigging parameters was body, move, face, eyeball, brow, eye, and mouth. I started with the broad parameters because it was the easiest to rig, and if I realized that I had separated the body parts incorrectly, I could replace them easily. The more detailed parameters are more work, but if you separated everything, it's unlikely that you need to replace anything. Lastly, once you're finished with all the parameters, we have to add physics. Under Modeling, click on Open Physics, click Add, and name it for example Hair Physics. Select the input preset as your head input, the physics model preset as your hair length, and click OK. Click on Output Settings and add your hair parts. By following these steps, you can also add physics to the movement of your clothing and chest too. On the preview, you can click and move your cursor to test how the physics looks like. Finally, we are ready to export your VTuber model. Under File, click Export for Runtime. Export as a Mach 3 file. Check that physics is checked. And click OK. Create a new folder and save it there. This folder is your VTuber model fully rigged and ready to be imported into your face tracking program of choice. And there you have it, your very own VTuber model. You just have to find a face tracking program. But fear not, I'm making a video comparing all the free face tracking programs for Live 2D. So I know I skipped the rigging of the individual parameters, but there are 30 minute tutorials on YouTube for every single one already. I wanted this video to be a tutorial on the basics of Live 2D and an outline of the steps you need to take from start to finish. I hope you found this helpful. Leave any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching!